Oh my god, okay. I'm back! I just feel more comfortable and I feel more like ba dum ba dum, like you know. I feel in the mood, y'all. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the confessions of a beauty guru tag and I'm so super excited and my door is open. So we're gonna go close that one minute. No big deal. I'm back. Okay. So the, there are 14 questions and yeah. So um, the first question is, um, if I'm not looking at the cameras because I'm reading the question, it's right there. So it's sitting up right there. So it says, how many hours a week do you spend filming and editing videos? So filming and editing take so long. Um, it is, oh, so long. So <sighs> filming, like a makeup tutorial will actually take me about an hour to do because it's just all the angles and the lighting and the this and the that and like doing my makeup in a little mirror. So those would take me hours. Um, filming um, a talking video such as this one is a lot easier. It probably takes me about 20 minutes to film. Edit it down. It So for the talking videos that I make, um, it probably takes me in total with the editing and the filming and the uploading, it probably takes about an hour and a half each video and for the tutorials or like get ready with me they take a lot longer they take about like three hours just because there's so many editing and walking here and there and get out of my bed and all that and you know all that shenanigans but yeah so the second question is are you a spender or are you a saver I am definitely a saver um, I do buy things that are not necessities um, I know that you guys see that like a lot of the beauty stuff I show you is like oh that's excessive that's excessive that's excessive but every other aspect of my life is not excessive like I really like I'm really good with money um, yes I am a saver so the third question is um, when is it easiest for you to film? It is easiest for me to film when I'm home alone, um, generally in the afternoon because I'm not a morning person, I'm more of a night person. Um, it is easier for me to film when no one's home because I feel like I can talk as loud as I want to or like I can be as quiet as I want to. But like my family kind of like laughs at me when they hear me like talking to myself or talking to a camera so I don't know. I just feel more comfortable and I feel more like ba dum ba dum like you know. I feel in the mood to film more when people aren't home or just my brother because my brother's kind of crazy I and mean, he's not crazy but he's kind of weird so um, he doesn't really care when I film like this but anyways um, yeah I like to film when I'm home alone or with my brother so yeah because he helps me with like angles and stuff but anyways let me know if you want to see a brother tag or a sister tag okay what makes talking in front of the camera comfortable to you um I am actually not very like um I'm new to YouTube but I feel that I'm very good at talking to the camera I feel uncomfortable talking to the camera because I'm a very like I I like things like theater and presence like I like being here like I like like showing people that I'm here like I leave a trail of glitter when I leave like I'm very confident so like I don't really have a problem talking to the camera I'm very like loud like I'm a very an ambitious person so talking to a camera is not really a big deal for me because I don't really care what people think about me talking to a camera but whatever because I'm not talking to just a camera I'm talking to y'all so anyways yeah um I'm very comfortable talking in front of a camera and I'm just rambling so I'm just gonna get on to the next question I'm not sure if I answered that question but who cares? Moving on to the next question, yeah. What's my worst makeup slash hair habit? Um, my worst makeup habit is that I never take, like I, I, I always forget to take off my makeup. Like I always forget to take off my makeup before I go to sleep and it gives me acne occasionally. And that's really bad for your face, do not do that. Um, my next, um, for my hair bad habit, it's that I like to, I mean not damage it but I like to dye slash use heat on it because like as you can tell this is not my natural hair color um I'm kind of a strawberry blonde right now comment down below what you think my hair color is actually because I'm kind of curious to know if people think that I'm a brunette or I'm a blonde because I've been tr I've been trying to go blonde gradually as much as I could um um the next time I dye my hair it will be in November and I will go blonde but sorry I know this is like really sidetracked but pretty much um my hair is blonde and the reason it's blonde is because I damage it with chemicals, but you know, um, and I, I like to curl my hair and straighten it all the time, so my hair is really damaged at the ends, but good thing I use masks. Um, so the next question is, what is one quote you wish the world would live by? Um, I don't know. 
I'm gonna come back to you guys on this question. This will be the last question in the video, so I'm gonna come back to it. How long do you take to get ready every day? Um, I probably take, like if I have to leave the house at 8, I'll probably get up at like 7.30. No, okay, so I usually set my alarm for 15 minutes earlier because it takes me 15 minutes to like actually get up. So if I have to leave the house at like 7, 8, 8, so I'll get up, I'll put my alarm for 8.15, get up at 8.30, and then I'll like do my makeup and everything at 30 minutes and less. Um, my favorite video on YouTube. Oh, my favorite video on YouTube. Well, there are pretty funny ones. Um, my favorite video on YouTube is probably... Okay, so there's this video that's like really, really funny, but I don't know. Okay, no, I can't say that video because no one will understand it unless you think you're a part of this thing. So I guess I'll say my favorite YouTube video is probably... I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Help. God help, please, please. Um, okay, so probably my favorite YouTube video is actually a makeup tutorial. I know that these are usually like funny videos, but um, if I have to pick my second favorite, it'd probably be a beauty video, and it is the Michelle Fawn um, Barbie tutorial. Um, that was one of the first makeup tutorials I've ever come across, and I love it, and it really taught me how to put on makeup because of the bright colors. It really just showed me, like, the crease and everything. I never can stop looking at that tutorial. I love that Michelle Fawn Barbie makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to link um, that video down below. Great. Okay. Look for the link. Be there. Um... A YouTuber that wa that you watch that deserves more subscribers and views than they have. And that YouTuber is Jill Sy Sayaki. I do not know how to pronounce her last name, but it is, um, I will link her channel down below. Uh, she has about 1,500 subscribers, but I feel like she deserves so much more because she really puts so much effort in her videos and she really has, like, good quality and everything. And I really feel like she's, like, one of those YouTubers that should have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and she doesn't. So I will link her channel down below. Um, Jill Saki. Okay. So the next video... I mean, the next video. The next um, question is, what's one thing I'm excited about for this upcoming year? Um, something that I'm excited about is um, I am excited for my... So I do all-star cheer. I'm on a level 2 team, and um, I'm very excited for my competitions this season. I will I will make a video on the competitions that I am going to, um, if you guys care. Um, comment down below if you want to see that video um, about the competitions that I will be attending because maybe I can meet some of you guys. It'd be really fun. Um, yeah, so um, I'm really excited to go to competitions because I've never gone to, I've never been a part of a cheerleading competition. I've only been a high school cheer before this. So I'm so super excited about those competitions. Okay, um, what's my most awkward filming moment? Um, one time I was filming... <laughs> And this isn't that awkward, but it's, it's, it counts as awkward. Um, I'm pretty new to YouTube, so I haven't had that many incidents. But one time I started filming and my door was closed. And I was talking and talking and talking and talking to the camera. And then my mom comes in and she's just like, who are you talking to? This is before I told her about my YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, I'm talking to my camera. And she's just like, what is wrong with you? Because she doesn't really understand like the YouTube community thing. So like, she was like, thought it was like crazy, but whatever it's, um yeah so my mom just like thought it was crazy but I explained everything to her and it was fine so that was kind of awkward though to explain it to her anyways um how long does it take you to prep for a video um it probably takes me about um for like videos in general I would say about 20 minutes to make my bed and clean my room and prepare everything and pull out my notes and all that stuff I would say about 20 minutes on average it could go up to an hour to five minutes so I don't know um, are you wearing pajama, are you wearing pants or jeans or a skirt now or are you actually wearing your pajama bottoms? I am wearing jeans, um, polyester jeans, um, as you guys, okay, so pretty much I just film in whatever I'm already wearing. If I'm wearing pajamas, I will film in pajamas. If I am wearing, if I came back from a day of school, I'm just gonna film in what I wore from school. Like, I really just wear whatever, um, I was already wearing. So yeah, um, cause I'm too lazy to change. I'm a lazy person. Sorry about that world. Okay. What is something you're most proud of in your life? 
Um, I would have to say that um, I'm very proud of my poetry. I write poetry. I'm very into creative writing, journalism kind of stuff. I don't know if there's like any video ideas to connect to that, but um, I love writing. I love poetry. Um, I could like do a video something about that. I don't know. I need some brainstorming on that, but I love my, I'm really proud of my poetry. Um, I love writing poetry. I love reading poetry. If some of you guys want to send me poetry, I will definitely read it. I will give you feedback because that's how much I love poetry. Um, I'm very proud of my poetry. So, um, yeah. But, so, coming back to question six, um, if you had to tell the world to live by one quote, um, I, w I would say two. And one thing, one quote, it's like not a specific quote, but it's like one thing, I guess. Um, it's to like live in the moment, not to like, not to like dwell on the past and like be like, oh, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. You're living now, just continue living and move on. Like seriously, just move on. And then the other thing is to take, um, to take, um, to eat the elephant one bite at a time, um, to just like take care of the little things the big things will take care of themselves those two kind of correspond and yeah so those are the two quotes because i hate it when people are like dwelling in the past and then i hate it when people try to take on these huge projects when they really just could like focus on little as sub aspects so yeah um so i will link down below the light tag um, i know this is a really old tag video but i'm bringing it back for all those new youtubers of my generation so yeah so that was um my video um thanks for watching um if you have any video requests please comment down below and if you enjoyed like and subscribe um thanks for watching if you have any suggestions on how to fix my videos please comment down below and i will have all the links down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.